welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 22nd of November and we are yeah, moving from Scorpio season. We're at the tail end of Scorpio moving into Sagittarius season. So let's see what is coming in for the 22nd of November. Let's see what is coming through for November the 22nd. What are the messages that we need to hear for November the 22nd? What is coming through? <laughs> it's going to get the right energy into the cards and see what is coming through. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Something on offer. Got to think about it. Ooh, Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords. And the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Okay, interesting, interesting. Do you want to dedicate yourself to this, this person, this opportunity? Do you want to open your heart, dedicate yourself? Have a think about it because something that's on offer, you might shift and change your perception. Is there a good flow? Is this something productive? Is this something that works well? Is there a nice energy flow between you and this other person? Because if there's something that needs to be addressed this king of swords is saying i need to i need to reply in some way so either say yes or no or come up with a plan and that in itself is challenging so i feel like again it's almost like yesterday we saw that something was really unclear the clarity is starting to come here but i think the wanting to say yes or no to something is actually going to be a challenge and maybe, you know, the thing on offer is actually, and, and you're being asked to open your heart up to this energy is challenging you in some way. But I feel like there needs to be some kind of a response that someone's asking something of you or there's something on offer here and you need to respond. And how you're going to respond is the challenge. Yeah, it feels a little bit like, are you working too hard? Because this seven of wands, this character is really dedicated. It's working really hard at something. It might even feel like something's heavy and a burden. And then along comes this page of cups and says, hey, you look like you need a drink. <laughs> Here's a cup. So it's, it's like this unexpected thing that is kind of probably exactly what you need. A break, a drink, a support, a message of support of some sort. And then, but through this this message that's coming your way it leads to a bit of a profound shift of why are you feeling overburdened or worked out like burnt out or why are you dedicating yourself to this like what's going on and do you want to dedicate yourself even further so big question of where you're putting your energy I guess because we have the three of pentacles which is something could be so much more productive with a little help from your friends <laughs> to use that that Beatles song so yeah it feels like it's like you've taken on something that can you open your heart to letting somebody help you can you open to receive what's on offer here because there is somebody that really wants to help could be vice versa maybe you're the page of cups seeing that somebody's struggling and going hey can I help in some way but it almost feels like there's a part that just goes into head mode not heart mode and that's going to be the challenge to open your heart rather than go into logical place because that king of swords looks all stern and I've got my sword and I'm going to make a choice and decision and I'm very rational and it kind of feels like too strong a response for that beautiful page of cups you know they're they're offering this little cup and they don't really want this king of swords to come in really like strong and hard on them so it's almost like an, an inappropriate response or a response that's just too harsh for the situation or too much in in the logical mind where it sort of felt like there was an opportunity for connection here and it feels like it's a challenge to get out of your head and to get into your heart and to be able to connect with that energy instead and that to open up to receive to somebody offering 
help or an off an energy that can help you in some way it could even be an energy an intuitive message that opens up to awake awakening or enlightenment like it could be enlightening this sense of okay i need to make sense of this but yeah it really feels like your heart is being offered something and your head might come in and try and take control <laughs> and it might be open your heart follow your intuition and your head wants to come in and and take control of the situation and it feels like there is I just keep getting this beautiful little page of cups there's something inside your heart that you're being asked to receive and to just sit with that a little bit with the feeling before the head comes in and says either yes or no to it in some way it's about sitting with a feeling or sitting with what's actually really on offer there's some kind of offer of connection or opening your heart to this and or intuitively opening up and just sitting with it it might need a little passage of time with that hanged man a bit of patience until you fully understand what this is I feel like it's going to be a challenge for your head to really understand it even though it's going to want to take control but a little intuitive message or heartfelt message finds its way through the energetic and mental barriers as it it slowly reveals itself and finds its way to see if you can open to receive it so yeah it's fascinating but that is the reading for the 22nd of november it really is almost a challenge to open your heart to this energy but yet i don't feel like it's going away anywhere soon it's going to stick around and so that's it so that's the reading for the 22nd thank you so much for joining me please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments follow me on instagram and take care